today I get to share with you another word hack that helps with mindset. So much fun. I love these because they're just small words and they make such a difference in the way we think. They define our ability to be successful or to fail at many things. So a common word we use all the time is the word if, right? When you're talking about goals, you say, if I achieve this goal, then this great thing happens. What I'm gonna tell you is to stop using the word if when talking about goals. That means you're not sure it's gonna happen. And what you tell your brain every time you say if is it may or may not happen. I'm not confident that I'm gonna achieve my goal. If you change it to when, you're saying, when I achieve my goal, then I get this prize. And that when automatically tells your brain that you intend for it to happen, you're confident you're gonna make it happen, and that's why you're deserving of whatever the prize is or the goal or whatever come, reward comes from that goal. I'll give you an example that a lot of people can probably relate to, right? If I lose 10 pounds, then I'll get a new dress, new suit, new clothes, whatever, right? So that's not saying that I'm confident in losing 10 pounds. It's if it happens, right? I'm not very committed. When I lose 10 pounds, then I will get myself a new dress. You see the difference? You feel the difference more importantly. So use when so that you can be confident in your goals and make yourself more likely to achieve them. Feel the success. Tell your mind that you're gonna achieve it so that you can achieve it. Don't be wishy-washy. Being wishy-washy, I laugh because it's a funny phrase, but wishy-washy means you're not going to probably accomplish it. You're not really in for the win. So get rid of wishy-washy, use the word when, and uh, make it happen.